British Pregnancy Advisory Service, Wikipedia Article Audio The British Pregnancy Advisory Service is a British charity whose stated purpose is to support reproductive choice by advocating and providing high-quality, affordable services to prevent or end unwanted pregnancies with contraception or by abortion. BPAS was founded in 1968 in Birmingham as the Birmingham Pregnancy Advisory Service. On the day that the Abortion Act 1967 came into force, Saturday, April 27, 1968, the first patients had their consultations in the front room of the then chairman, Dr. Martin Cole. At that time patients had to travel to London for termination, but a clinic was opened in Birmingham 18 months later. Origin Abortion In addition to providing abortion counselling and treatment at over 40 centres across England, Wales and Scotland, BPAS also provides emergency contraception, vasectomy and sterilisation, and vasectomy reversal services. BPAS's South London Clinic was one of the first recipients of the Department of Health Your Welcome Award in March 2009, for providing high standards of health care to young people. BPAS gained substantial media attention in early 2011, when the charity went to the High Court seeking a legal redefinition of treatment under the terms of the Abortion Act which would have enabled women to have administered the second drug used in the abortion pill treatment in their own homes. BPAS argued that such a change would have brought UK practice into line with best clinical practice, and with practice in countries such as the USA, Sweden and France, and that it would have dramatically improved the experience of early medical abortion for women. The judge in this case did not accept the definition of treatment proposed by BPAS, but confirmed that the Secretary of State for Health has the power to approve women's homes as a class of place where certain abortion drugs could be taken. In 2008 BPAS, along with other organizations in the Voice for Choice network, called for improvements to the abortion law during the parliamentary debate over the Human Fertilization and Embryology Bill. The government guillotined discussion of the HFE bill in such a way that proposed clauses related to abortion could not be debated. From the early 1980s BPAS carried out donor insemination treatments initially using fresh sperm which was donated at the required time of the insemination. Donor treatments were anonymous and the identity of donors was protected. In the mid-1980s, following concerns about HIV, sperm which had been frozen and thawed by BPAS was used instead of fresh sperm. This enabled it to be quarantined and the donors retested. BPAS continued to store donor sperm and to carry out treatments until the HFEA came into being in 1993. Donor Insemination Although it never carried out treatments under the Human Fertilization and Embryology Act, the BPAS held a storage license until the end of 1997. Its central London clinic which was located in Charlotte Street W1 and was known as the Pregnancy Advisory Service, also carried out treatments using donor sperm before the passing of the Act. It held a treatment license under the Act and continued to carry out artificial inseminations under the auspices of the HFEA. Unusually at the time, many of the patients of the PA were single women or coupled lesbians. PA ceased to carry out donor insemination treatments at the end of 1996 and it sold its client list to the London Women's Clinic in 1997. PA continued to collect and process sperm samples from donors until October 1997. At the end of 1997 BPAS and PA sold on their remaining stored sperm. 
with the consent of the donors and in compliance with general directions issued by HFEA which covered such cases at the time, both the BPAS and the PA sold their stored donor sperm to fertility clinics outside the UK for use in donor treatments. Criticism In late 2004, the British newspaper The Daily Telegraph presented a video to the British government showing BPAS counsellors referring women whose pregnancies were too advanced for legal abortions in Britain to a clinic in Barcelona, Spain. A report filed by the Chief Medical Officer for England, Professor Sir Liam Donaldson, in September. 2005 was critical of some aspects of BPAS counselling, but concluded that, in the matter of BPAS staff referring women with late-term pregnancies to the Genemedex clinic, BPAS had not broken any laws. The report stated unequivocally that BPAS's ability to provide abortion and reproductive counselling and services had not in any way been compromised and that no changes in funding should result. It further stated however, that protocol for late-term abortion counselling was sorely lacking, and that the government and interested agencies must develop said protocol with all possible speed.